What is up guys, it's Saan Malik back here again and welcome to episode 3 of This Week in LEGO, the weekly show where I summarize all the latest LEGO news, leaks, details, rumors, and everything happening in LEGO this week. And this week was absolutely absurd, we got over 100 LEGO sets to talk about. So this video is going to be a long one, but before we go ahead and get into it, I did want to give a very quick reminder that the giveaway did come to an end. I was supposed to announce the winner yesterday, but I was a little bit busy, so I'll be announcing the winner tomorrow, which should be Monday. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into all the news and leaks. To start things off with Star Wars, we got a whole bunch of official reveals, as well as rumors about upcoming sets. So starting with our official reveals here, we have set number 75321, the Razor Crest Microfighter. The set is going to retail for $10 and include 98 pieces. It's actually a pretty decent looking build and a pretty cheap way to get your hands on a very cool looking Mando minifigure, which also includes his best card jetpack as well. Then we got set number 40557, the Defense of Hoth. This set retails for 15 bucks and includes 64 pieces. I like this set and I think it pairs perfectly with all the recent Hoth sets that we've been getting this year. And next up we have set number 40558, the Clone Trooper Command Station. This set also retails for 15 bucks and includes 66 pieces. I probably would have liked to see another variant of Clone Trooper instead of the Clone Commander, like maybe a Clone Lieutenant or Sergeant or something like that. But for those of you guys that did want to get your hands on a Clone Commander, this is a great way to do so. These two sets are a little bit controversial because they're 15 bucks, which used to be the regular price for battle packs, except this time they include one less minifigure here at three instead of four. Honestly, I'm a little bit bummed out by this too, but the thing is inflation does exist, prices do rise, and now that battle packs are officially 20 bucks, I really wasn't expecting these sets to include more than three minifigures. But still pretty cool, moving on here, we have set number 40539, Ahsoka Tano, the 150th Brickhead. This set is going to retail for 10 bucks and includes 164 pieces. And last up for the official reveals here, we have set number 30495, the ATST Polybag, and this set includes 79 pieces. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the official Star Wars reveals. Let's move on to some rumors we got for next year. So we pretty much know every single LEGO Star Wars set that we're going to be getting in the second half of 2022. We have all these set numbers as well as their prices and a few brief descriptions as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and read them off here. We have 75323 for 160 bucks. 75331 for $530, and this is most likely going to be a new Master Builder series set. No idea what it's going to be, but if I had to guess, I would assume it's going to be from the original trilogy. I'm kind of hoping it's not. I would really like it to be something from the prequel era, like the Jedi Temple or something like that. I think that would be a pretty cool build, and because of the fact that we already saw the UCS Republic gunship, which is a prequel era set this year, there's a good shot we could get a prequel era set from the Master Builder series as well. So I'm kind of hoping for that. Moving on here, we have set number 75332 for 30 bucks, 75333 for $30 as well, 75334 for 50 bucks, 75335 for 100, 75336 also for 100, 75337 for $140, 75338 for 70, 75339 which we don't know the price of yet, 75340 for $45 which is most likely going to be the advent calendar for 2022. And then 75342 for 40 bucks, and lastly 75343 for 60. So this price list is interesting for many reasons. It does look like LEGO will be doing the same thing that they did this year with the Star Wars theme. The first half did start off a little bit slow, and then they picked things up in the summer wave, giving us a whole bunch of really cool sets. And it seems like they're going to be following that same trend with 2022 as well. But my only big concern here is with the prices of some of these sets. Like the cheapest sets that we have on this list are only 30 bucks, which relatively isn't all that cheap. I'd say $30 is more like a mid-tier set, so it's kind of unfortunate we don't see any $20 or $15 sets on this list. Also, I'm really hoping that a lot of these sets are based off Kenobi or even the Book of Boba Fett. We do know we were getting the Jabba's Palace set, which should be coming out in the first half of 2022, but hopefully these second half sets include even more from the new Disney Plus series. But make sure to let me know what you guys think about this list down in the comments below, especially what you guys think that $530 set is going to be. I want it to be the Jedi Temple, but I highly doubt it's going to be that. Anyways, that pretty much does it for all the LEGO Star Wars news. Let's go ahead and move on to Marvel here. So we got one official set reveal, and this one is pretty cool because it's from the Multiverse of Madness. This is set number 76205, the Gargantos Showdown. It's going to retail for 30 bucks and includes 264 pieces. Now this set is pretty cool because it's one of the first official things that we've seen from the new Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness movie. In this set, we get to see what America Chavez is going to look like. We get a new Doctor Strange minifigure as well and also a new Wong minifigure. I'm going to be honest, the build here doesn't look all that interesting to me. It's just a big monster and that's probably because of the fact that the designers weren't working with that much information due to spoilers. But either way, you do get a nice lineup of minifigures. I was expecting Scarlet Witch to be in this set. That's what some of the rumors were saying earlier on. But it does look like that she won't be in this one, but hopefully she is still in another set. 
And next up here for the Marvel news, we have set number 76210. Now this is gonna be either a Marvel set or it could also be a DC set as well. Chances are it's going to be Marvel, but this set is going to be absolutely huge. It's going to be a $500 set. Now I have no idea what this set is going to be, but I'm kind of hoping it's going to be a very large Avengers Tower, similar in scale to what we saw this year with the Daily Bugle. I think it'd be pretty much perfect to see because those sets would work so well together, both being in New York and also being very large buildings. But that's just my guess, it could also be a DC set as well, but I'm really hoping it's going to be Marvel. And also just in the Marvel Universe, not really based on Lego, we'd get the first trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I really did enjoy the first movie, so I'm glad that we're getting a sequel, and it does look pretty cool. I can't wait to see how Miles is going to interact with Spider-Man 2099, who is also played by Oscar Isaac, which is pretty cool to see. So I'm excited for this movie, and we also got news that Tom Holland will be returning for another Spider-Man trilogy. Spider-Man No Way Home is coming up very soon. I was actually fortunate enough to get some tickets to the first showing of that movie, but it looks like that won't be the last that we're going to be seeing of Spider-Man. We should be getting three more movies based in the MCU, which I personally am very excited for. And also, lastly, in the Marvel Universe, we got the third episode of Hawkeye. Now, I'm not going to spoil this episode or the show or anything like that. I am still enjoying the show, but it does feel a little bit underwhelming compared to other Disney Plus Marvel series that we've seen before. Obviously, it's done on a much smaller scale, which is done intentionally, but it just doesn't hook me the same way those other shows did. It's still pretty cool, though, and I'm looking forward to the fourth episode. All right, back to the Lego news here and switching themes over to the Harry Potter theme. We have one official set reveal as well as a first look at two brand new sets as well. So the first official reveal here is set number 76399, the Hogwarts Magical Trunk. This set is going to retail for 60 bucks and includes 603 pieces. And I think this is a very cool set. The Harry Potter theme in general does a good job at surprising us with these very unique designs and builds. It's something that I've never seen with other LEGO themes, the way that they've introduced so much originality and so many elements of the Harry Potter universe into the builds. Like this entire set is a trunk that we'd see a student at Hogwarts use, and that's a pretty cool build. And I do think this set is pretty cool and it has a nice selection of minifigures as well, so a great set for any Harry Potter fans out there. And with the reveal of this set, we got our first look at two brand new book sets. This is set number 76396 and 76397. Now we don't know what subjects these sets are going to be based on. All these book sets are based on one subject or another. But if you guys have any guesses, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. All right, so that pretty much does it for all the themes that I regularly follow. The next bunch of this video is going to be a whole bunch of Lego themes that I'm not all that familiar with. So because of that, I won't be really breaking down the sets or giving my opinions on them too much. I'll just be kind of reading them out and giving some brief details on each set. So I'm going to be flying through this list, guys. There's going to be a whole bunch of different themes. Let's start things off with Ninjago. So we have set number 71776, Jay and Nia's race car Evo. 71757, Lloyd's Ninja Mech. 71760, Jay's Thunder Dragon Evo. 71761, Zane's Power Up Mech Evo. 71765, Ninja Ultra Combo Mech. This set does look pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of Voltron with the way this build comes together. Next up, we have 71767 Ninja Dojo Temple. 71766 Lloyd's Legendary Dragon. 71763 Lloyd's Race Car Evo. And then lastly, 71762 Kai's Fire Dragon Evo. So that pretty much does it for the Ninjago theme for the first bit of 2022. We got a whole bunch of new sets here. I don't really buy Ninjago sets all that much, but I do think this is a pretty nice lineup of Ninjago sets, especially especially that Ultra Combo Mech. I think that set looks pretty cool. All right, moving on to the next theme here, we have Minecraft. Again, I'm just going to read them off really fast because I don't know all that much about this theme. So we have 21179, the Mushroom House, 21181, the Rabbit Ranch, 21183, the Training Grounds, 21180, the Guardian Battle, 21178, the Fox Lodge, and lastly, 21177, the the Creeper Ambush. Also a pretty cool lineup of sets. I kind of grew up playing Minecraft a little bit, but I'm not really familiar with all the new stuff they've added here, so these sets look really crazy to me. I haven't played this game in a while, but these sets do look pretty cool. All right, next up here we have the city theme, and this has a whole bunch of sets included in this one wave. So I'm just going to read them out real fast again. So we have set number 60330, the hospital, 60316, police station, 60315, police mobile command truck, 60317, police chase at the bank, 60314, ice cream truck, police chase, 60320, fire station, 60321, fire brigade, 60319, fire rescue and police chase, 60324, mobile crane, 60343, rescue helicopter transport, 60325, cement mixer truck, 60323, stunt plane, 60322, race car, 60312, police car, 60318, the fire helicopter, 60329, school day, 
60328 Beach Lifeguard Station, 60326 Picnic in the Park, 60327 Horse Transporter, 60350 Lunar Research Base, and finally 60351 Rocket Launch Center. All of these sets are going to release on January 1st, except for the last two space based sets here. These are going to be releasing on March 1st. So a very cool lineup of sets. The ones that look the most interesting to me here are these space ones that we looked at the end here. That rocket launch center does look pretty cool, although it does look a little bit pricey as well. All right, moving on to our next theme here, which is Technic. We have a whole bunch of sets. So starting with set number 42135, the Monster Jam El Toro Loco. 42138, the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. 42137, Formula E Porsche 99X Electric. 42134, the Monster Jam Megalodon. And finally, 42132, Motorcycle. So a very cool lineup of Technic sets here. I don't really buy Technic sets all that much, but that GT500 does look pretty cool. And next up here, we have official images of Series 22 of the collectible minifigure series. So in this series, we have the Girl with Full, Figure Skater, Bard, Wheelchair Racer, Raccoon Suit Girl, Bird Watcher, Chili Suit Girl, Acorn Boy, Ice Warrior, Moon Warrior, Space Alien, and Robot. So a pretty cool lineup of minifigures here. If I did have to pick a favorite, I think it'd be the Wheelchair Racer. I think the build for the wheelchair there does look really cool, and it's one of the most unique things that we've seen in a CMF series. But moving on here, we do have the Brickheads theme. We already did cover the Ahsoka Tano minifigure in the Star Wars section, but other than the Star Wars stuff, we have other sets as well, starting with set number 40543, Saint Bernard, 40544, French Bulldog, 40540, Lion Dance Guy, and we also got a couple of rumors about some upcoming sets, which is set number 40552, Buzz Lightyear, and also 40553, Woody and Bo Peep. So I'm not sure if that Buzz Lightyear is going to be based off the new Buzz Lightyear movie. We are going to be getting sets based off that movie later next year as well, so maybe this Brickhead will also be part of that movie as well. Who knows, we'll have to wait and see. We only have one official set reveal here, and that is set number 21057, Singapore. So a pretty cool looking build for a very beautiful looking city. Moving on to the creator theme here, we have some official set reveals as well as the rumors as well. So starting with the official set reveals, we have set number 31129, the Majestic Tiger. 40519, the New York postcard. 40520, the Beijing postcard. 40518, the High Speed Train. 40524, Sunflowers. And for the rumors, we have two expert sets, and that is set number 10303, which is going to be a $350 set. And then 10304, which is going to be $160. So no idea what these expert sets are going to be. If you guys have any guesses, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. These sets typically don't disappoint. I mean, we did get the Titanic this year, which is an absolutely massive Lego set. So we don't really know what they're going to be, but it doesn't look like they'll be breaking any records for largest Lego set anytime soon. Unless it's another world map, which a lot of us don't even consider the largest Lego set. All right, moving on here to the ideas theme, we have a full set list of set numbers. And all right, moving on here to the ideas theme, we have a full set list with set numbers as well as prices. So we got 21333, which is going to reach over 160 bucks, 21334 for 100 bucks, 21335 for $300, and 21337 for 350 bucks. So it's looking like it's going to be a very pricey lineup of ideas sets. We also do know about the Sonic set that should be coming out next year as well, which should be cheaper than these. But it just kind of got me curious as to what these sets are going to be. I mean, these do sound pretty expensive. The cheapest set here is 100 bucks, which is certainly not cheap. But if you guys have any guesses as to what these sets are going to be, make sure to go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. And next up here, we have the Friends theme. This is a theme that I know nothing about, but I'm just going to read off these sets here. So starting with set number 41703, the Friendship Treehouse, 41702, Canal Houseboat, 41701, Street Food Market, 41700, Beach Camping, 41704, Main Street Building, and finally 41695, the Pet Clinic. And then next up here, we have the Disney theme, starting with set number 43198, Anna's Castle Courtyard. 43199 Elsa's Castle Courtyard, 43203 Aurora, Merida, and Tiana's Enchanted Creation, and finally 43208 Jasmine and Mulan's Adventures. And then next up we have a whole bunch of sets from the Dots theme. Now I'm not going to read these sets off just because they're very small, so I'm just going to be showing the images to you on the screen now. And lastly we have the new Chinese New Year set, which is going to be set number 40421, The Year of the Tiger. So that pretty much does it for all the LEGO news this week, which pretty much wraps up our episode of this weekend. Lego. As usual, guys, before you head out, make sure to down in the comments below and let me know what you guys think about all of these sets. Which ones are you looking forward to the most and which ones are you planning on picking up? I apologize if I didn't go into too much detail about the themes that I didn't know that much about. 
I pretty much only really buy sets from Star Wars, Marvel, DC, and Harry Potter, so there wasn't really much for me to talk about with the other themes. But still, I hope you did find this video useful if you are into any of those themes. And if you guys did find this video useful, make sure to leave a like, as well as consider subscribing as I will be doing weekly episodes just like this one covering all the latest LEGO news. The world of LEGO is constantly changing with a bunch of new details and rumors coming out, so I hope these videos make it a little bit more easy and convenient for all of you trying to keep up with all of it. But yeah guys, I'll pretty much do it for this video, make sure to let me know what you guys think about these sets down in the comments below. And again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.